on the self-titled Avenged Sevenfold album. We have Afterlife. Guys, if you enjoyed the song that's playing in the beginning, it's one of my new singles. It's a free way to support the channel if you go watch it. Let me know what you think. Do you hate it? Do you love it? My name's Ellen. I'm a sound engineer and a musician. Let's go ahead and jump into this. I love that opening lead. It is so fucking iconic. It's so good. It's so good. So think about having a right-handed and a left-handed guitarist sitting side by side like that is very pleasing to the visuals. Like it's like that split screen effect. I don't know why. Sorry, just random thought popped in my head while I was seeing that. <laughs> I just love this part. I, I love this song so much. Just the way that they structure out the progressions of the chords that they're playing, the guitar, the way that they're giving, the, the way that they're playing this song. It, let me explain that better. All right. So they play the riffs. They give a moment for the vocals. Other technical riffs come in. And then other technical aspects come in. Like everything is layered perfectly where... Nothing is overshining on top of each other. There's only certain segments that pop out at the right moment so you can pay attention. Everything that's catchy about each instrument, every player is really good. So when Matt goes into his vocals to sing those lines, they're very captivating because they strip back the instruments. When he stops singing, you get a splash of like technical guitar playing or maybe something really cool on the drums or bass playing. Or like when we have that bass just driving for that one part of the vocal section, it sounds so good. It's just a masterpiece of a song. It's, this is definitely one of my favorite Avenged Sevenfold songs ever because of how well written it is. Like even that build up right there, that pre-chorus build up with the drums on the drums, like building into the chorus, it's just perfect. It's just a perfectly executed song. I love that double up on the book saying, we'll be waiting for you. Like, it's so it's cool. Ooh, I love that guitar. I think it's a guitar or something in there with possibly a flange. It's going the entire time. It's like feeling. Love you around till I feel so stay. You'll be back as soon as it sounds like it could be a guitar. It could be a synth being played. Uh, it could be a lot of things. Let's let's solo out the guitar. Maybe we'll hear it better in there. Maybe it's in this uh, other track. That noise right there. There you go. Yeah, I, I really like that. That's that's clever. That's a cool way to fill up the sound. Instead of just putting some keyboards or whatnot, you have you have that as sound design. This piece on us not right. no pain, no that that bass tone right there. Let's 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 just listen to that bass and drums. Oh, it's so fucking 
grooving. I love that, man. That's so cool. Wow. I guess I didn't realize that the bass did with the guitar seemed that bin bin bin. That's that's cool. Woo! Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Oh, I love this song. I really love this song. This song is so good. So good. See, look at how the rev just like, you know, he falls back on the drums, just keeps you in there in the fucking pocket, and then he gets crazier when this pre chorus comes up. This piece on us not right. Things too that are happening in this. It's re I forget that it's there. It meshes so well together, <laughs> you know? Something I forgot to talk about during my initial reaction to this was the scream that M Shadows did and the laughter that I really wanted to isolate and share with you all. I love that panning effect right there. I like how that bleeds in. That's really fucking cool. <laughs> Damn, that was awesome. Wait, doesn't this song go on longer than this? Is the music video shorter than the actual song? I think it might be because I sw swear we get like an outro. A gr it's been a while since I listened to this song, but pretty sure it's like a huge like outro. Like a, It like just kind of bleeds out on the album. Oh, I listened to the album like six months ago, but... I can't remember. I'm going to look it up real quick. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it like does this like whole bleed out afterwards. Oh, maybe not as. Not, okay. Not as much as I thought the, we were missing the intro though. Right. The. Yes. Yes. Why wasn't that in the music video? That's so weird. It's 
like the best part. One of the best parts. That's weird that they left that out of the music video. I, I mean, I see why, I guess, if you just want to get right into it. Ooh, the strings are so good, too. Guys, if you like this type of content, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing this video. I'm going to check out the behind the scenes of Afterlife. I found a clip on YouTube. I'm actually going to record my reaction to that right now. I have like three Avenged Sevenfold videos up on our Patreon right now for early access if you want to support the channel further. Uh, consider checking out a Patreon. It really helps support this channel. They'll be up eventually on the channel. I'm just doing tons of Avenged Sevenfold reactions, so uh, stay tuned for that. Here's more Avenged Sevenfold reactions right here. See you.